Hey what's up guys, in today's video I will be showing you how to get all 6 missing map fragments you'll need to be able to generate a pin code needed to use the elevator to reach the front entrance of Vault 79. For those who aren't aware, Patch 16 made the Grafton Pawn Shop accessible, where inside you'll start a journey to discover the truth behind the treasures of Appalachia. This is considered an unmarked quest, so you will not have mission markers telling you where to go to complete it. There are two parts to complete, the lore board and the map. I will make another video covering how to complete the lore board at a later time as I don't want this video to be too long, but for those who just want to get down to the vault entrance to explore, this video is for you. With that being said, let's get into it. First you'll want to head over to Grafton and search for the pawn shop shown here. Once inside there will be various notes on the ground which will contribute to the lore of the pawn shop that you may want to collect for later. Make your way upstairs through this door, which will lead you to what seems to be the planning area. Once there you will come across the two boards, the lore board and the one where you will piece the missing fragments of the map together. By turning on the black light sat on the table, you reveal six words that hint to the various locations where you can find the pieces that will ultimately reveal the location and code for the vault. Please be aware that the pin code you receive on completion is unique to you as every player receives their own pin. The first location you have to travel to is Uncanny Caverns, located here on the map. You'll want to head inside this structure once you're there, where you'll come across your first fragment. On top of the cashier's desk is where it can be located for you to collect. Next you'll want to travel to Point Pleasant which is located on the map here. Once you run across the bridge you want to place yourself where I am so that you may find the next location with ease. Once you arrive to the location you will need to pick lock level 1 to open the door to gain access inside. Once inside once again you will find your second fragment on the cashier's desk ready to be picked up. For the third fragment, head over to Red Rocket Megastop located here on the map. Once arrived, head over to the small Red Rocket storefront where inside lies the next missing piece, laid beside a radio playing static. Next travel to Haven Church located here on the map. This is the door you'll want to go through once you make it there, so keep your eye out for it. Right in front of the door at the desk lays the next fragment for you to collect. Head over to the General's Steakhouse for your fifth missing fragment. Once there, you'll want to enter from the door in front of the two cars in the parking lot. Here's how to maneuver your way to the next piece once inside. You will find the map fragment at the bar next to the cash register ready to be taken. Lastly, you'll want to head over to Morgantown High School, located here. You'll want to enter through the front entrance and follow my lead once inside. This fragment is located on the top floor of the school on a teacher's desk at the back of a classroom. Once there, you'll find the last piece waiting for you on the right side of the desk. Now that you've collected all the pieces of the map, return to the pawn shop to piece them together. Once pieced together, activate the black light once more to reveal your unique personal code to get access to the elevator of the vault. Remember, each player gets their own unique code. You cannot use someone else's. Now you'll want to travel to this destination to find the entrance to Vault 79. Once in that area, you'll have to look out for this cave entrance surrounded by foliage and grass. Should stand out a bit. Once you arrive, type your personal code in the keypad and head down the elevator. And there you have it. You are now at the front entrance of Vault 79. Who knows what lies behind that seal? At least we'll be ready to find out when the time comes to open it. That wraps up today's video. Like I said, I will make another to follow up regarding the lore board, just didn't want to make this one unbearably long. If you found this video informative or helpful in any way, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time guys, peace.